Hey guys, how are you all doing? Today we're going to take a look at the pocket chip running Quake 3. Now, pocket chip has just been uh, updated, excuse the camera, has just been updated to run uh, with 3D hardware acceleration. Now this is an alpha phase and uh, this does mean we, we get access to um, some cool new stuff. So, Quake 3. So this video will be cut and chopped in order to get the video across quicker. Um, we'll do the commands and we'll skip the loading for those that would prefer that. So, first things first, you're going to want to do a sudo apt get update if you haven't, and then you want to go sudo apt and then install and then git and then you want to press enter. Uh, I'm not sure if that is correct. Is that correct? I think it's correct. Let's find out. Yep, so we'll sort this out and then we'll move on to the next part. Once we've done that, the next command is HTTPS, but it's JIT and then it's space and then it's clone. Uh, C L O N E uh, clone C L O N E git clone and it's H T T P S function M and then it's forward slash forward slash these commands will be below guys so git hub dot com forward slash next with a capital N next and then it's with a capital N N shift N E X T shift T H I N G and then it's shift C and then O and then it's forward slash I O quake Q U A K E 3 and then it's a one of those and it's G L E S and then you want to press enter once we've done that, we can then move on to the next, where we've actually got to build Quake 3. We use a command cd, and then it's io, so it's space io, and then Quake 3, and then gles. And we should be able to press enter. And once we're there, we should be able to press dot forward slash build dot s h enter. Once that's done, then it will take a little bit of time. Excuse the camera there. We'll take a little bit of time and uh, it may even uh, bring up the intro again for your pocket chip. Once all that is done, you should come up with this screen and simply just type in, in open arena and press enter. Now this should start up the game. I've not even tried it before, so this is a first for me. And uh, you can see already that uh, when I tried this last, it was so slow it was impossible to play um, but already just to give it a little go I'm presuming we can't use touch with this but who needs it um, no, I don't want to reset game uh, how do we 
How do we get into a match? Touch doesn't want to work. WASND doesn't want to work. Let's press escape. Let's press single player. Alright, okay. Okay, there we go. So push down on the... Uh, right. Down on the directional keys. Or up. And it'll connect to local host. And uh, as you can see, we're starting to get somewhere. So. Right. And we're in. And uh, all the keys are set up for us. And uh, it runs fairly smooth. I say fairly smooth because you can still see a bit of stutter in here. I'm going to tell you how we fire. Okay. How we even fire is it space is to jump. Space is to jump. It would be nice to remap the keys on this. Uh, w, A, S, and D is moving left, right, and the such. Um, how do we fire on this? I would have thought it would have been uh, no item to use. Tab, no, and I'm dead. <laughs> Click fire to respawn. Enter is to respawn, but enter is then en enter doesn't seem to want to fire. So, okay, the dot buttons is to switch weapons. You can actually zoom out and zoom in with the plus and minus button on the uh, on the uh, side of the pocket chip, which is pretty cool there. Um, wow, but I don't know how to fire. And even though enter seemed to work, it doesn't want to. It doesn't actually like, fire anything. But then I'm thinking. Do I have any ammo? Touch screen doesn't work. Which is, you know, fair enough. I thought it would have been one of the number keys, but it doesn't seem to be. Oh, what was that? What did I just press then? Did it fire or did it just switch weapons? Ah, bottom, the bottom shift on the right of the pocket chip fires the weapon. And as you can see, it does run fairly smooth. Although, with the super clicky controls, you're going to want to play it on easy because it's really not that easy. Um, because they're clicky, it makes it a little harder to, to play smoother, uh, smoothly. But you can see that it, it does work. Um, and it works really well actually I'm, I'm very impressed so this is the start of what could happen like imagine imagine what can happen in six months time when the community's got hold of all this we've moved from alpha phase to beta phase or we've moved to full release of this product uh, or of this firmware even and, and then the possibilities are still endless for the chip you know, for a $9 PC, I don't think there's a $9 PC out there that can play quite great now. So, this is pretty impressive. I mean, obviously, you got the Raspberry Pi, but this has 8 gigs of inbuilt storage. Raspberry Pi doesn't. You know, this can have its own power source, potentially, and many other things. I think the chip is definitely the better platform. It just needs nurturing with the software side as opposed to releasing more chips which is what is happening right now but if they can do both at the same time then kudos to them but I definitely recommend they uh, they spend some of their time actually developing software 
and then it could become bigger than, than Raspberry Pi ever was because it's an impressive little machine. So this this guys is a little video on how to get Quake free. Now if we exit the game, potentially we should be able to just type in open arena and it will boot again. But I'm guessing you will always need to be in this folder here, which is IO Quake Free GLS. But uh, let's see what happens if we if we come out of if we come out of that. Um, Let's just go to maybe chip. Right. Let's close this if we can. If we can get up there and actually close. Let's open a new page. Okay, and then type in open. Jesus, I can't type today. Arena. See, I cannot type today. I can barely see the keyboard. Like so. And press enter. And see what happens if, if there's any difference. But actually there is no difference and the game runs again. So guys, that is how we do it. And we're on the right track here. NTC is on the right track here and the community is on the right track here. So hopefully... Uh, in the coming weeks, there'll be more exciting things to show you. But you can still see that it works. It is in alpha stage, so there is a little bit of stuttering here and there. But it's to be expected. Hopefully this will be improved in a later firmware update. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button. And if you can, please subscribe, because it really helps me out. You know, if I can get to a thousand subs, I'll be doing a giveaway. And um, hopefully I'll have some pretty cool stuff to give away. So... Be sure to subscribe. If you didn't like the video, then hit the dislike and please comment below as to why. But as always, I shall see you soon. Cheers.